Okay, this is the second installment of the gardening uh, blog posts, and I'm going to show you what is my staging area in my various experiments. In these uh, little circles you hear, you can't really see now because I got rid of them. I had originally experimented with uh, a, an old burn pile that the old owner had here, and I took all the fucking ash uh, from that end of things and mixed it with this. But anyway, let's go through the rest of it. I'm going to have to cut this video because I swore. Sorry about that. These are a few trees waiting to go into the ground. One of those is a breadfruit, which is not looking so good because it fell. And then the other is a cashew tree. And then the other is a uh, mamoncino. And then the other is one of the local grapefruits. Anyway, this is my little staging area here where I put all my planters and get my stuff started. And unfortunately, I've got a puppy that has decided since Daddy likes these planters and these little pots that he likes them. So he grabs them once in a while and chews on them. And I get mad as hell. So I got I don't know what I'm going to do about that. But anyway. Staging area here. So when this is my at the end of this little path here is my long-term staging area. Anyway, I have grapefruits here. My buddy and I did 16 uh, grapefruit clones from his ruby red grapefruit plant, and only three of them took because I had them. On. I think unfortunately I get a little too much sun on this side of the house. So anyway, I'm reusing the the bags here. In these first three, with one I've got one grapefruit that you can see. I've got three guanacaste seeds that I want to ultimately do a bonsai tree on. And then the back end of here. I've got uh, four olives planted there as well. But anyway, I'm not sure if I can get through here today because I left the hose on last night. And unfortunately, my path is flooded, but I'll give it a shot anyway. Anyway, this is uh, turkeys, ducks, chickens, all hungry. <laughs> and they know Daddy's back with food. Well, not just yet. We'll do that a little bit later. Anyway, this is my dirt pile. And you can see my belief in dirt pile that I'm showing you now from the other side. And in the first video that I did, I showed you the... Uh, the compost bin, which is now, this is the other side of it, and as I showed you, uh, the compost backs up to the mulch pile, and I can lift that door, and then all the good stuff gets start to work, works into the, uh, and then over here, I have my dirt factory, which is coming out pretty good. All right, let's continue this tour. All right, this is back where we started the other day. Let's see how long we can get this video running. All right, we're rolling, we're rolling, and I think we left off right at the, uh, at the original milpa, which is, uh, as I had mentioned, is not really doing so good because I'm not too happy with the with the sandy and rocky dirt. But we'll start there anyway. So I think this week what I'm going to do is these five circles, which are surrounding an, egg, uh, uh, an avocado tree, uh, where the original milpa designed. And then I got circle one and two right here. And at the entrance to each circle, what I've been doing is, uh, see, I got a little wheelchair entrance right here. That I can enter into and now I can tend all this stuff myself so at the entrance to all these circles which we just had clipped yesterday is in a, a, uh, a pineapple I'm gonna go around the whole way this time circle one okay and as you can see there's an eggplant here that the uh, iguanas uh, ripped up a little bit and then I've got circle two circle two is right now rolling with some uh you can see one tiny cantaloupe in there but this is cantaloupe and watermelon and as i told you in the first video i am experimenting with the regular soil here to see what takes with it the uh, actual watermelon which you can see here it actually looks like it likes it a little bit so we'll see and we're gonna move on we move this is circle ones and two these are the first two that i did as i mentioned but what i've built up to is uh, some larger circles and I've got those a little further back on the property. So here's the big circle, which you really can't see the whole thing, but we had it, did cut it yesterday. So I'll give it a shot and see if we can delineate it. All right, that's the circle. I don't know if you can see the whole thing, but as I said, I've got a breadfruit tree planted in the middle of that. Now, as I said, I'm experimenting with the normal soil here just to see what actually likes it and what doesn't. And what I've discovered so far is that A, uh, okra does not like it too much these first little line here is okra and then the other alternative is these are all pumpkins and these seem to like things here so that's cool anyway we'll see so anyway you can see this big circle that as i said i can tend to i've got a few other things playing in here like uh cucumber uh more soybeans and a few other uh gourds 
that I that I got on the internet. And then over here is I got, as I mentioned to you earlier, the Nispro tree, which I'm very excited about. One of my favorite fruits I've discovered here in Costa Rica. And then in the back, I've got another 100 yards to the property line. So I got a few more places to cultivate. So anyway, we're getting rolling, and I'm just giving you the basics here. And we'll see how all this stuff does, and I'll be keeping track of all of it as we go along, and hopefully we'll garner your interest. Anyway, that's enough for now. Thanks.